What's up, guys? My name is Taylor, or uh, Mercadurka, as you know, and I have a special guest with me today. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Yo, what is up, guys? I am Double, and it's nice to be on this channel. It's, it's different. It's, it's not my territory. I'm kind of concerned, but uh, go ahead. Uh, he is a good friend of mine. His name is uh, Mr. 360 Games, or Ryan, or Double Trouble 777, or um, a man of many names. A lot of yeah, I, I have a lot of names. I just realized that people know me as one thing, and then they don't understand me that I'm someone else. I don't know. Uh, I should probably shorten down that list, but yeah, I don't know. But, uh, anyway, we have a few things to talk about. Actually, we've been meaning to do this commentary for uh, quite some time, and we just kept procrastinating and procrastinating, and then... Uh, <laughs> tonight as we were thinking about doing it we just couldn't for the life of us think about something to talk about and so we decided uh that to talk about the process i, yes. I suppose yes of figuring out what to talk about yes all right so i don't know exactly how i even get in the mood for a commentary but it kind of goes about i just i think about I, I think really really hard and i don't even know it it's very very difficult to get in the mindset of actually not talking about the gameplay because talking about the gameplay is just kind of lazy now and i hate when people do that and my, uh, my viewers know that I hate that. But um, there's so many ideas that actually come up when you think about a commentary. And people don't understand that. Like, I, I still see people do commentaries on the game plan. I just don't understand why they're doing it. But, like, what, what actually, how do you get into doing your commentaries and stuff? Because you have, like, a big variety of topics and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. I pretty much just take things that happen in life or funny stories and kind of share it. I try to put myself out there for... Uh... For you guys watching, and uh, for those new guys sent by Ryan, uh, hello, nice to meet you. But anyway, I set, I light myself my uh, my lavender vanilla candle and get myself out a nice cup of hot tea. I'm just kidding, I don't have hot tea. I usually <laughs> get a soda or something, and then I just uh, go to town and just start talking. I rarely prepare unless it's a dual commentary. Or but uh, oh, I do I do write down things in my iPhone actually, and I, I'm uh, <laughs> you do the same. Don't you? Yeah, yeah, I, I'll be listening. I don't know. I go to bed listening to music a lot, and it keeps me up more often than not. And I always just come across an idea, but sometimes I just won't be able to bring myself to like write it in my iPod. So like in an hour later, I'll come back to it and I'll just put it in the notes section of my iPod. And I, I come across some really awful ideas and I think my worst idea I don't know why but it would have been so depressing to do and I'm not going to go into it too far but I, I was like the idea to talk about suicide for some reason and I was like came back to it like five seconds later no that's a terrible idea and I don't suicide know. Mm, yummy that's something you want to talk about on <laughs> yeah the I, can't part, wait. <laughs> I can't wait to make my viewers so depressed today by posting a video about like the most depressing topic ever oh my yeah, I try and keep it uh, light-hearted I think I even say that on my little channel, like, disclaimer thing or whatever it is. Not a disclaimer. I don't know what I'm talking about. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anywho, uh, I actually had stuff. I I often get really good ideas, or what I think are really good ideas, uh, late at night. And so I'll write it down on my phone, and then I'll wake up the next morning and just, like, be like, why did I write that? Why did, what is wrong with me? Like, I have a bunch of really good ideas on my phone right now, and uh, one of them just says... Surly lady at the gas station, which is <laughs> it was, it was like I it happened so vividly. Like this lady was just being a complete uh, douche to me at a gas station the other day. And I don't know why that stuck with me, but uh, for those of you who who wanted to know, there you go. That's that's how we think of commentary topics. Very very random process that goes into talking about not the gameplay. Like I noticed, I don't know why people still do that though. Um, what is honestly like uh, I have a. I can watch CNNers really easily. I can watch any commentator now because no one's really talking about what's happening. Uh, and I don't know. What is your kind of favorite type of commentary to listen to? Because, like, I actually don't ask people. I never do commentaries, dual commentaries very often. So I don't really know. Um, well, you know, usually uh, the people I listen to are either my friends in the community, like uh, Woody, Onslaught, Team Art, um, Bash, Wings, people like that. I listen to them because I really enjoy them because I know them kind of. And so it's kind of more enjoyable for me. But uh, as far as listening to people who talk about the gameplay heavily, that's all well and good when new games come out. But yeah. uh, now, now is not the time to be learning about Modern Warfare 2. Like, uh, October 18th, 2010 is not the time to be like, oh, that's the nade spot for something. Yeah, exactly. like, Let me write that down so I can be good at this game. Like, no, it's too late for that. So uh, lately I've been focusing a lot more on trying to watch personally, or not personally, personality-based commentaries, if that makes sense, yeah. I guess. Yeah, I understand, because I, I like watching that a little bit more. I think that's, yeah, great in the beginning, and then the fact that people and stuff's still going up like that about, you know, all these tricks and stuff that's being found out that it's pretty much been found out before, I don't understand it, 
So uh, yeah. I, I tend to stick to watching more like the people that get a little more, more personal because it, know it's honestly some people don't understand it and they, they get the notion that like oh I don't really care about you or anything. But then you know majority of the people they're like oh yeah that's cool I like to know about you know the certain personalities they hear on YouTube. So yeah. yeah I- I find that uh, you really connect with your viewers more when you kind of put yourself out there and you like, you don't just like say like I'm running up the middle area with an ump. I'm yeah. shooting this guy now. I have a silencer because it's good. Like I no, I just I don't know. I don't care for that. And if people like that, then more power to them. That's fantastic that they enjoy that. But uh, it's not for me. Not my not my cup of tea. Yeah, and like I watch on your channel, and it goes a little bit more into personal stuff like that. And I think it builds like honestly like a lot better of a community. Uh, you know, I think towards the beginning of my channel, I was very, very um, conceited, and I didn't really talk about anything about me, and that's why I, kind of my channel, it's not like the most active at like the time, it does have a big number of people on there, but you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that many people are watching, but I did a lot of weird guides and stuff in the beginning of my channel, so people started like, um, like when I started to talk about myself, uh, people were tuning out, and then, but a lot of people were tuning in, so I started to build something there, and I know that you do that a lot, and your community is actually incredible. Every time I check out one of your videos, you got so many people just involved, and you got some great subscribers. Like I'm impressed, I gotta say. Oh, oh yeah, I, and this sounds so corny, but like I, like I check my videos in relation to the other people with like around my same fan base, and my subscribers are just so involved. So like going out to you guys, thank you very much for commenting. Uh, feel free all the time. It's even in my channel little description to leave a comment. Tell me what you want to see because uh, I can't. I'm not. I'm no magic man. I'm no. I'm no genie. I can't think of ideas forever. That's why I need you guys, because apparently you can think of ideas forever or whatever. Exactly. But, uh, oh, one thing funny that I wrote down in my phone that I wanted to talk about is this whole live commentary fad. And I know I touched on it once before, but tell me if you've noticed this. Like, yeah. I don't like how when you play with these people in real life, if they die, they're like cursing up a storm and yelling and like, you faggot, I hate you. And like, <laughs> and like they're like yelling and because I got noob tubed. And like, when you listen to one of the live commentary, it's like, Oh my goodness. I can't believe that guy got me. Oh my goodness. I should have moved differently there. Oh man. Oh darn it. Gosh, darn it. And they're like putting on such a facade of trying to be friendly. And I'm like, Oh, that's just so sickeningly sweet and wrong. And, I don't know. Have you noticed that? Yeah, you I that? I was doing a live stream, and I actually got to fall under that <laughs> category. So, like, I noticed when I was in there, because, you know, people are watching you, and, you know, technically when you're doing it live, you can't just go out and start screaming and like you normally would do when you get hard scoped by a thermal or hard scoped in general. You can't just kind of scream the F word, because, I don't know, people are going to take that the wrong way. But So I was doing a live stream, and I was putting on such, like, not an act. I was, people were watching me, so I can't really just go off. Like, I was, I was making, poking fun at what people were doing to me, but uh, not in kind of the rage, a happy way that I usually do it. But, yeah, I noticed that. Like, a lot of people, when they do live commentaries, they, they kind of sweeten up, and then they're so much yeah. nicer. And <laughs> I noticed that a lot more. That was kind of, yeah, I, I did notice that. Like, there's a difference between, like, making sure that you watch your language, of course, because there are people watching that you don't want to be, like, setting a bad example for. And then there's just, like, people who are, like renowned, like when you play with them in any other game, they're just screaming obscenities, and then like when they die in a live commentary, they're like, "Oh, fiddlesticks! He he outplayed me. Well played, yeah. sir. A good game." Like, <laughs> I don't know. It just makes me giggle. Yeah, and like I, I guess yeah, that's more for like the multiplayer and stuff like that. But like when I do, because I started doing like live commentaries on Minecraft and stuff like that, and it's not really, you know, it, it's actually you kind of get into your own personality because sometimes when you're doing a commentary, um, just like this, uh, you can't really get into the you know, your whole personality, sometimes it gets, it's, tough to, uh, it's difficult to get into, but, like, when you do a live commentary on, say, a game that's not full of rage, like, you know, Mario for 2, for example, uh, something like Minecraft, you actually can get into the personality, so I do like Minecraft, or, um, not Minecraft, um, live commentaries on a certain kind of level, but not on the multiplayer. I know it's multiplayer, people tend to, you know, kind of put on an act more often than that, so, yeah. Yeah, I like the, what I'm actually going to do a whole live commentary series either on my channel or machinima or something when i when uh, assassin's creed comes out uh, brotherhood and as far as i know i'm like the only person who's like as excited for that as yeah, yeah i know that because like I, I never really heard anyone talk about assassin's creed and i'm like oh wow you actually do something and i'm actually kind of excited because you know no one's really jumping on any other kind of different game it's actually it's a huge fad with minecraft and then there's um, you know, the whole Call of Duty series. Nothing really else. Just <laughs> Minecraft and that. So I'm kind of, I'm genuinely excited to see yeah. uh, Assassin's Creed. Like these kind of, like the community, and that's just fine. Because like, everybody jumps onto the popular thing. And that's great, because that's where most of the views are. And that's what most people want to see at the time. But uh, I've played Minecraft a few times. It's fun, but uh, it's not for me. 
I'm not very good at any computer games, and it's just, I don't know, I feel clunky when I'm playing on a computer. I know that sounds completely just like, God forbid I, like, not want to play a computer game, but uh, it's just not my thing. So, I don't know, Assassin's Creed's going to be sick. Suffice to say, it's going to be incredible, and uh, you guys can look forward to that gameplay. So, look forward to that. I actually don't, I actually can't even see the gameplay on your computer. This is so funny. Yeah, like just people... realized I'm not actually playing it, so I'm looking at the timer, I'm <laughs> staring at the timer going down. <laughs> So that we don't actually run over. But, yeah, we have, like, 30 seconds left. But, uh, no, it's fine. Yeah. Like, it's so funny because, like, on so many commentaries, people are focusing on the gameplay. And you guys should know, like, we haven't even been watching it. We're just exactly. a couple of friends having a conversation. But, uh, Nobody talking. Yep, I guess that's coming to the end of the commentary. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a comment and leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy. And uh, Devil's Link should be in the description or Ryan or Mr. 360 Games or whatever you want to call him. He doesn't care. Yep. And uh, head over to his channel and check it out because he has great content and uh, he's a much more seasoned veteran than I am. So check him out. All right. Ciao, guys. See you next time.